CRMs have always played an important part in the paid media world, whether it's assessing the quality of leads, maybe looking at lifetime metrics, or now, probably more important than ever, making sure that you're properly collecting first-party information. Now, certain CRMs, like HubSpot, can easily integrate with certain paid media channels, like Facebook, and that's exactly what I'm gonna talk about today. I'm gonna go over how you can sync HubSpot with Facebook, We'll then go over how you can test lead forms to make sure that they're capturing properly within HubSpot. And then last, I'll show you how you can use the information that you are collecting in HubSpot to build proper audiences in Facebook to use for both targeting and exclusions in your ad sets. So let's jump in. Right now, I'm in the Paid Media Pros demo account. And the first thing I should mention is that whoever is going to connect the Facebook ad account with HubSpot, that person must have published access within HubSpot. And then for Facebook, that same user must be an admin of the ad account in Business Manager. If you need to confirm your access level, you can open up the sandwich menu. Business settings might be under your shortcuts if you visit it frequently, but you can also find it under Manage Business. Sorry, I have to blur out a bunch on this page, but essentially what I did is I went down to Ad Accounts in the left-hand navigation, clicked on the right ad account, and then confirm you're one of the people that has access to it, so I'm going to expand myself, and then I see I have full control of the ad account. So I'll be able to make those changes to link Facebook to HubSpot. This is a little bit different because we're set up this way as a partner, not necessarily as a user. So you may have to look to see if you're getting access individually or if you have access through a partner account, and this is just one way of doing it. But now let's go into HubSpot. This is what my homepage looks like in HubSpot. We just have the basic free account. I'm not sure what all accounts could see on the homepage, but it doesn't really matter because we just need to head up to the top navigation where it says marketing, click on the drop down, and then we need to go to ads. Now up here under accounts, if we click on it, you can see that we already have a LinkedIn ad account synced up with HubSpot. That is because Michelle already made a video on how to do that, and you can watch that one here. But what we want to do is to connect another ad account. And here it took us into our account settings. So yes, I went to marketing and ads, but you can also click on the gear setting, which will bring you to your overall settings. Now, if I can find my mouse, we can just click on connect account out of the three options. I did say we have the free version, so You can see we only can add up to two ad accounts. LinkedIn's already there, so let's do Facebook. Here, I got a pop-up, just want to continue. I jumped ahead a little bit, I automatically went to the page where I can find the ad account. Just makes it easier, otherwise I would have to blur out everything else on the screen. There isn't a search feature, so if you're like us and you have a variety of client accounts attached to your business manager, you're just going to have to click page by page. No search feature. Not that big of a deal, but once you find it, you can just click on it, just like we did. That is selecting the ad account. And when I did, the auto tracking selection was automatically enabled. Now this is going to add HubSpot tracking to your Facebook ads. It will not override any of the parameters that you already have implemented within your Facebook ads. I'm good with just this one account, and with my free account, that's all I can do anyway. If you have an upgraded HubSpot account, you would be able to select more than one ad account. But for now, I'm just going to connect this one, and now we see that the ad account is synced with HubSpot. If you would like, you can go up and select Limit Data Use, and just so you can read it, you can see how it will change performance and data collection regarding your Facebook pixel from users in California. Okay, so we have the ad accounts connected. Now let's head over to Lead Syncing. You can see in the section I'm highlighting right here, this will automatically sync the leads from our lead generation ads to the HubSpot CRM. Once again, we already did this for LinkedIn, but we're here to do this for Facebook, so let's connect. Of course, we need Facebook. Jumped ahead just a teeny tiny little bit. Again, there's just so much I have to blur out with other clients in here, but I just found the appropriate account that I want to sync, clicked on the option. By default, it's going to go to all leads. So it'll look at the past 90 days of leads and sync them into the account. If you know you're already caught up with leads and you don't want any of the historical ones to be uploaded, you can click on the drop down and just select new leads. And once you have the right account, you can go over and click save. And there we see our Facebook page is connected. And now you'll probably want to go into Facebook and test one of your lead forms just to make sure it's working properly. So I'm going to jump ahead a little bit because as you can see within our demo account, we haven't created any lead forms for this account. So I'm going to just create a fake campaign and lead form just so we can test it out. Let's jump ahead. I finished creating my first form within the account, and then I jumped over to the lead ads testing tool. I'm popping up the URL to visit this tool, and it's on the screen right now. So first, you'll need to go and select your page. 
Again, it's one of those things where if your login is tied to a variety of pages, you'll have to pick the right one. Then you'll have to choose the form. There will be a drop down. It's easy for us because I just created our first one for this account. And then you will have the option to preview the form. There's something super basic and then the option to submit it. If you look at the section I'm highlighting right here, you can only have one lead per form. So if you need to test it multiple times, you will have to delete the old one. But for me to test it, I want to create a lead. Okay. It says our test lead has been sent. So now let's hop back into HubSpot and see if it went through. Back in HubSpot, once again, I went to marketing and then ads. And that's how I got to this page. There we can see all the Facebook campaigns that were part of our ad account that we connected are now visible within this section. If I can go back up and instead of marketing, I'm going to go over to contacts and then click on contacts. And there we see the test lead is recorded within our HubSpot. In my form I created, I only asked for full name and email. It was the default options in the form. But any of the other default lead ad field mappings, like phone number, city, state, if you're splitting out first name, last name, that type of thing, those will be included within your contacts. If you're including any custom questions, those are going to be custom field mappings. And the names of those are going to be depending on whatever the form field label is. So let's say you've been using HubSpot for a while. You're collecting audiences and contacts in a variety of ways. How can we use these contacts to help our Facebook campaigns? Oh, once again, I'm going to head back up to marketing, click on ads. And if we look over to the right, we see a button to create audience. There we see options for website visitors, contact lists, and lookalike. Now, why is the contact list option locked? It's because I have the free account. You need to have the marketing hub professional or enterprise levels to use contact list audiences. But I'm at least going to go through a website visitor audience. So most likely, if you are running Facebook ads already, you have the pixel on your website or your landing pages and you're already creating those page visit audiences. But as I said earlier, if you've been growing your contacts that you're collecting within HubSpot, it would be beneficial to create specific audiences based upon these contact lists. If you're running a newsletter signup campaign, you would be able to go in if you have a high enough HubSpot account and create an audience from users who filled out that specific newsletter signup form and then take that audience in Facebook and then potentially retarget to them with whatever next step campaign you would like to do. So while I cannot create the contact list one within this account, I'm going to just make one audience and then I'm going to jump into ads manager so we can see where we can find it. I am in the audience section in Business Manager. To find it, you need to go back up to your sandwich menu, your all tools. For me, it's a shortcut because I use it all the time, but it will be under the advertise section if you need to find it. But you can see it's pulling in the example that I just created within HubSpot. I named it contact list, but if you look under the type, you would see that it is a website visitor audience. But if you do have one of the higher level HubSpot accounts and you can create customer list audiences, they will show up in this section. So then when you are going into your ad sets and you're pulling in the custom audiences, you will be able to use your HubSpot audiences to not only target users, but potentially exclude certain groups of users. So using the newsletter signup example again, if I'm trying to run an evergreen campaign to get people to sign up for my newsletter, I would create an audience off of all of the context from that newsletter sign up and add them as an exclusion. So all the users who have already signed up for that form on Facebook, they're not going to continue to see the ad after they filled it out. And yes, I know you can create audiences based upon lead form submissions, but those only have a certain length for the cookie where a customer list will be forever. And that's how easy it is to get your Facebook ads account synced up with HubSpot. You can see how much you can do even with a free HubSpot account like the one we showed, but you will get more features and more capabilities with one of the paid accounts. If you have any additional questions on syncing up your account, making sure lead syncing is working properly, or creating a HubSpot audience to upload into Facebook, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.